In the wash products at CycleCare, we offer two different ways to wash your bike. Traditionally, many of you are bucket washers. We know that this is your choice way to wash the motorcycle. Uh, we have two products. This is the bucket wash and this is the spray on and spray rinse and ride. Uh, the, uh, the idea here is to wash the motorcycle to do a good job at that without stripping the wax. So let me tell you up front that neither one of these products will strip the wax from your motorcycle and neither one of them again will they will not harm anything that water will not harm. It's a personal preference of whether you want to do a hand wash or you want to spray and rinse. The industry is split about 50-50 so we're, we, we remain in the bucket wash business. We call this affectionately we call this old school product and we call this new school product. This is highly concentrated it takes one ounce per gallon and uh, it, does a, it does a great job and if you after you put it into your bucket if you don't want to use it all you can save it and use it on the next visit so it's very economical to use okay what we're going to show you this morning is the spray on and hose off method first thing that we do whether it's a whether the bike has been ridden or not is we want to be sure to lower the surface surface temperature of the bike all the surfaces because the uh, the product works by softening the dirt and when it's dry it can't work so we need to lower the surface temperature before we apply the product doing it just with a garden hose like this will lower the surface temperature anywhere from 40 to 50 degrees so once we get that complete then we can start applying the product what we suggest is to start at the front of the bike because that's where the bugs are and remember that an enzyme removes an enzyme so what we want to do here is we want to get some, we're going to get coverage on the windshield, around the headlights and the uh, turn signals, all the areas where the bugs collect that are very hard to get out. What we're doing here is we're sending in a product to do to clean areas that we can only see. Sometimes we can't even touch it, but we're sending the product in to soften that dirt so we can blow it out. So what I want you to do for the first thing is to do the front of the bike and the first half. Remember that the product is safe on all surfaces, so you don't need to worry about it on the leather, which is a pretty phenomenal thing, that you can use the same product to emulsify the bugs. You can use it on your leather. At this point, because we're working out here today in the hot sun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist the product with water. Remember I told you that it's important to keep the keep the product wet. I don't want to rinse it off now, I just want to keep it wet. I want to activate it. Without rinsing it off, you just give it a, a shot of product to keep it wet. We're, we're misting it. So at this point, we can go ahead and apply it to the other side of the motorcycle. And again, you have no fear. It will not harm anything, water won't harm. Some of the great concerns about some of the newer motors that are colored, they're black or they're silver motors, is that some of the spray and rinse products are just deadly to that finish. But you don't have to worry about that with cycle care. There's nothing in any of these products that will harm any surface that water won't harm. So after about five to seven minutes of just keeping it wet, not rinsing it off, but keeping it wet, then you want to turn your garden hose into blast. You get the very hardest pressure that you can achieve with your nozzle and you start up front where you where you did with the bugs where you first put the product. The water pressure will go in there and clean the bugs from around your headlights, your front forks, and the whole area. What you have done now is the product has softened the dirt and it's the job of the hose to push it off. So it is free rinsing. And when we, after we do our final rinse, we can let this sit out here in the sun and dry pretty well spot free. Now that's pretty phenomenal. As you can see it does a great job of softening the dirt so you can blast it off of the garden hose. And it takes more than just a slight rinse, you've got to hit it. You've got to hit it hard where you've softened that dirt You've got to push it off the surface. That's the job of the product, is to soften the dirt so you can push it off with your hose. 
and on your final rinse, the aeration of the nozzle creates bubbles and spots. So you can, you can get this through just a, what we call a flush rinse, where you can run it along your pipes. Any other part of the motorcycle where you have, where bubbles have started, and it reduces, uh, reduces any possibility of spotting because you've taken the aeration out of the nozzle. But also on your final rinse, you can save you some time, yourself some time in wiping the, because it, the water just sheets off rather than remaining a bubble. But there you have it. We've used the Formula 22 on the, this Heritage Softail and we have blown drying it. You can see we still have the wax is still here. We haven't harmed any of the leather. It looks shiny and looks brand new and you can get those same results with a 22 at your house.